Oh, impressive. Excellent work, Cram. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Looks like you didn't clean up any of these things. I guess I'll do it. Thanks for being thorough, King. It's Hagatha! You better hide! <sighs> oh, I can't stand that soggy woman. I won't even speak to her. V, that's not very nice. Might not be nice, but it's true. You've never been one to give the time of day to people you don't like. Seriously, she looks like a melted marshmallow. Damn. <laughs> oh God. Everything chip chop up here. Ah, <laughs> oh, how are my delicate little flowers? Oh God, she sounds so terrible. We're splendid, Hagatha. Thank you. Eh, uh, looks like you lovelies missed a spot. How's the face, Aquilos? What? What was that? D uh, nothing. Damn, that was good hearing. That's right, dearie. A good princess should keep her thoughts on the inside. Um. <laughs> Just like we practiced. <laughs> Out of place? Oh no. Oh damn. Um aftershock. <laughs> right, we gotta keep going. Gotta keep moving. Oh, sweetie. We'll need to continue working on your awkward bungling. I've been working on my sleep giggles too. Perfect. Perfect. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. That smell. From over there. Yes, yes. What do we have here? Agatha, would you like oh. to. Interrupt. <laughs> it's rude. Whatever you say, slimy cucumber. Damn, <laughs> I'm good. I'm hiding. <laughs> gotcha. Nice. Oh no. <laughs> she that blind? P P princess? Long flowing gown, <laughs> skin with rose colored cheeks, an elaborate headdress, and wait. Oh, the scent of lavender. I recognize a princess when I see one. Welcome <laughs> to my tower. <laughs> I'd invite you to dinner, but you don't really have a choice. Oh, Agatha, good one. <laughs> Yo, she's crazy. All right, so here we can choose whatever delights make your acquaintances. Are you eating a turnip, or is that your nose? Damn. All right, let's make this funny. Um, I just have to ask: Is that your nose, or are you eating a turnip? <laughs> oh, where? Well. Oh, what a funny little princess. Humor <laughs> does not suit us ladies. It would do you well to remember that. Now come, it's time to eat. <laughs> Hum's face. <Hey>. Hush. <laughs> what was that? What's everyone what feel that? like for dinner? I'll take savory. Sweet, please. After dinner, Hagatha excused herself and told us to get our beauty rest like all good princesses should. The sun was setting, but none of us were sleepy. V suggested we play a game to pass the time. Niece picked out Moral Quarrel, a casual social game. 
We preferred something more competitive, but begrudgingly went along with it. All right. The first step is we answer all the cards in front of us. We must answer honestly, or the game won't work. All right, so this part is very important. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years, or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? So we need choose? to try. We need to try and choose basically the answer that would fit Nice the most in this case. So in this case, it is B. You can live 10 Come lives that last 1,000 years, 100 years. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return, or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? For this one, it would be A. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? I'd want to be a dragon with a pet dragon. <laughs> Is that weird? So for this one, it's B, be a dragon. Would you rather A, have a tail that never stops loudly tapping against the ground, or B, have noodles for hands? Well, that wouldn't allow you to pick up anything. <laughs> Dragons have tails, so tail. Yep, so in this case it's also a tail, so X, which is answer A. <laughs> Do you still need more? Would you rather A, constantly reek of syrup and not smell it, or B, constantly smell reeking syrup? I actually For this like one, the smell of syrup. It's B. Constantly smell reeking syrup. First, we mix up our hands. At the start of our turn, we choose which player we want to try to pair with. We'll then ask the question from the card at the top of our decks. If both asker and asky answer the same way, they both place the card on one of the three spaces between them. Once there are three cards between the two players, they both win the game. If there's not a match between players, the card must be discarded. If a player runs out of cards before matching three, they lose. Graham, are you getting all this? Oh, mirror, which one is it? Is it B? Is it Nice? Do they like me? Do I like them? What does my breath smell like? Oh, lavender and ooh, eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't <laughs> like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're oh, allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Relaxed. Graham, you start. A okay, magical so for this genie one. offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? So you want to pick Nice? 100% B. I agree. Think of all the lives you could lead. Explorer, artist, pirate, vampire. Or a ninja, or a zombie. <laughs> Graham, a rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? Okay, now for this part, <laughs> it's a little bit confusing, but since V is asking the question, you want to you wanna answer based on what she asks. So in this case, we're going to do convince the orphan to be honest or turn the coin. Hey, I figured their honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Nice. I chose A too. The orphan learned a valuable lesson and would probably be rewarded for their honesty too. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you 
A, kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner, or B, let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard. So for this one is you want to choose answer B, let the beggar let the beggar eat the goose. Since niece is asking, B, I mean magic beans. Yep. Magic beans? Magic beans. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return? Or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? All right, we're gonna ask Nice. I pick A. I agree. Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed. But I couldn't imprison a friend. Nice and I won the game. She looked like she was holding in a victory dance. <laughs> he looked upset. Not because of me, but because she hated to lose. When the sun went down, the air turned frigid. We decided it was too cold to play another game and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin, and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. So what do you think of King Graham the Compassionate? He seems friendly, I guess. He's quite the character. This seemed like the perfect time to hmm? explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. Alright, so we can just explore for a bit. I wasn't ready for bed yet. There was still more to explore. Can't look at the painting, that sucks. What's that game? Is that football? <laughs> All those stairs are interesting. Shame. It looked like the loot cracked in the tumble and was in need of a repair. I don't think there's really anything here to look for other than what you've already seen. So it's possible that we may just All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes. And I didn't see any choco chips. Explore other parts of the ca of the castle, so we're gonna go on the platform and go down. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come rescue her. Jeez. Oh, damn. Oh, I do miss her. The months turned to years, and no prince ever came to whisk her off to a happy ending. Holy crap. The enchanted canvas painted a younger portrait of whatever oh. stood in front of it. That was her? Crazy, bro. I'm like stuck. Oh, okay, and also uh, here you can get another secret achievement. If you put each of the portraits in front of the canvas, you'll see what each of them look like. And you'll get an achievement. Haha, <laughs> that's crazy. So we did it on Chester, now we do it on Maya. Oh wow. She had bracers. Braces. <laughs> and then Bramble. Wow. Tough girl. Okay. Okay, so now we can inspect the clock. 
The witch grew bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order to increase her chances of being rescued. I'll leave the clock for now. Years of appearance changing potions eventually took their toll and backfired. Turning the princess into a soggy hag with a flappy tail. But the potion could be reversed, right? She could lose the tail and and her skin would change back to normal. I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. Agatha took it too far. There was no coming back. Okay, so, let's see. So now we have a different clock on the door here. Wait, so we gotta match the... the hands. Press the button. go through <laughs> Jeez Agatha never left the tower so she would send the princesses on her errands they would fetch this ingredient or that trinket she used a special enchantment to Poof them out of the tower, and after some time, poof them back in. That's pretty cool. Why didn't they ever tell anyone they were trapped up there? If they did, the spell would instantly pull them back in. <laughs> Magic is so arbitrary. Los Charcistra. on flashing that ring again. Not gonna make <laughs> that mistake twice. Okay, so now we're back in the main room with them. Um, we're gonna talk to each of them. I'm gonna start with V. Uh, how's it going? My favorite puzzle box is broken. I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Want me to try to fix it? I'll get it. And then you want to talk to Nice as well. Hey there. What's shaking? I cracked my loot and I don't have the right tool to fix it. Want me to try to fix it? Do you have the tool I need? Uh, nope. Then I'll take care of it. I was stuck. I <laughs> needed advice. Too bad I couldn't just dot over to the town square. Or could I? <laughs> Alright. So, obviously we're going to pick and fix the loot. So, we got to find the ingredients for that. The supplies, so we're going to go down. She's sleeping, so we're good to explore. So we're gonna go through the door. If there's anything here to really explore, so I'm just gonna go through this door. She has a lot of stuff here. Jeez, there's a door up there too, huh? Anyway. This sorcery was very finicky. It would teleport you away from the tower, but only for a limited time. And you needed something from the place you wanted to go to. Alright, so we're gonna use one of the portraits. Doesn't matter which one, because they're all from the same town. I'm gonna use Bramble. 
Just keep with the theme. 